as the ousted AI ADMK leader Sasi Kala has dropped a big hint of reconciliation with RBK Palani Swami and OPS as well. Now she, uh, we are told, has said that AI ADMK will be reuniting ahead of the Lok Sabha polls and it will secure a good victory. When the time comes, she says that she will arrive at the AI ADMK headquarters in Chennai. So this is a big hint by Sasi Kala. Is she trying to bury the hatchet that of course is out in the open when it comes to EPS and OPS? Now she is claiming that uh, she might just be arriving at the AI ADMK headquarters. She also says when the time is right, she is going to be doing that. My colleague Purnima, who has brought us that input, uh, joins me on the broadcast. Purnima, a big hint there of reconciliation by Sasi Kala. Absolutely. At a time when O Pani Silvam and Edapadi Parni Sami have uh, been at loggerheads and fighting uh, the case to take claim to the ADNK legacy, VK Sasikla also saying that when the time comes, she will also go to the AIA DNK headquarters. Remember, every statement of VK Sasikla uh, has a signature of uh, calling herself as an AIA DNK general secretary, while uh, on record, it's uh, Edapadi Parisami, who is the interim general secretary of the party. Uh, so, uh, Opanmi Selvam, Edapadi, Sasikla, all of them now trying to stay claim to the ADNK legacy. And Sasikla there saying that she is here to stay and she will try to unite the party, saying that only if all of them come together, will the AIA DNK do better in the forthcoming election. So, that's uh, uh, official statement from VK Sasikla at a time when Edapadi and Opanmi Selvam have taken the to the legal uh, to the to the court. All right, to one of my interesting developments in the offing. Let's see what really happens uh, in the politics of Tamil Nadu, especially within the AIADMK. We're slipping into a very short break, but not.